If you have an Android device and you're using Google Contacts, then you also might want to use those on your Apple iPad or iPhone or any other Apple computer. This video is going to show you how you can sync your Google Contacts to your iPad. So if I open up my Contacts app, the only contacts that are in the app at the moment on the iPad are three that I've manually entered and they do not uh, appear in my Google Contacts and you really want all your contacts to be synchronized. You don't want to have some contacts on one device and some on another. So I need to add my Gmail account, the one that has the contacts, into my iPad. So I'm going to Settings, Mail Contacts Calendar, and then Add Account. So in the Accounts at the top here, Add Account, and I'm going to add my Gmail account. And that has my contacts and my calendar, notes, so tap Google and then enter in your details for your Gmail account. So for the purpose of this video, I've just created a fictitious Gmail account and contacts. So it doesn't matter if you see any of this information because I've just made it up. So the name of the account. Your Gmail address. The description so I don't want it to be known as Linda Barron 1956 in my list of contacts so I'm going to rename this one the description and then the password normally you'll just enter the password for your Gmail account however if you've set up two-step verification then you're going to need to also set up an application specific password. Uh, Two-step verification will not work on uh, standalone devices so you have to actually create a new password. So if I put my normal password in for my email and then do next it's going to attempt to verify my Gmail account and it will give me a, an error because I've set up this two-step verification. I need to set a app specific password. So if I go to the computer and into my Gmail account and into contacts and so this is the uh, the switch between the two so this will get me to, to the Gmail and to the contacts and what I need to do is go into the account settings and set up an application specific password. So go into your account, so it's up in the, the top right, and select account. And this is where you can change some of your security settings, your, your Google Plus settings. In this case, we want to change security. So two-step verification is a really good idea to have enabled on any Google accounts because it will prevent somebody from accessing your account, setting up a new password, or having your, your current password changed by somebody you don't know. So you can see here where the security is that two-step verification is enabled and now I want to change an app password. So to sign into my account and then I'm going to select an app. So I want to use mail on my iPad so I need to generate a password. And this is the password that I have to use when I'm setting up my Gmail account on my iPad or a phone or a laptop, uh, anything that's different to your normal computer. And so there's the, the, uh, the application and you can revoke that at any time, uh, then done. So now if we go back to the iPad and this time put in that application specific password, So this is the new password that I've entered. Now I can tap next and it will verify that account and add it. Now you've got to decide with that Gmail account, do you want to turn on Google Contacts, Google Calendar, Google Mail, Google Notes. So I want to turn them all on because I'm actually going to sync my Google Calendar uh, to the iPad, the Contacts and any notes. So tap Save. The other thing you need to do is set up a default account in your contact setting. 
So every time you make a change in your contacts on the iPad app, then that change will then be synced back to the Google account. So if you don't do this, then new information generally won't be sent back to your Google account. So in the Mail Contacts calendar setting, scroll up the page to Contacts, and where it says Default Account, select the account that has the Google Contacts, and that's my Linda Gmail account. And that's all you've got to do there. And there's some other settings there for Contacts as well. So if we look at the Contacts app now, it now has the Contacts from my Google account. So I've got both of them on the screen so we can see any changes. The one on the right is the uh, Google Contacts on the computer and the one on the left is the iPad. Now if I want to make a change to anything, so if I go into Deirdre Smith on the iPad and tap Edit, I can make any changes to that contact. So, so if I want to add another phone and I can select whether it's a work phone, a home phone, whatever it is. So add a new number and tap done. Then that change within a couple of seconds should be reflected. If I go back into Deirdre, see it come in there, will be synced back to Google in my contacts. If I add something on the Google side, so going to add another phone, so let's add a home phone number to Deirdre, and press enter, it's not immediately synced to the iPad. Because the iPad has a fetch setting, it doesn't immediately take the information that's come from Google and update it. It will if you uh, manually edit it, if you want to see it reflected immediately, you have to actually edit the entry. Then going out of the app and back into the app has not forced a sync because you can usually see up here there'll be a little um, circle, if you like, some activity up here. There's no syncing at the moment. So if you want to force it to sync, just edit the entry. So I'll just tap edit. Don't have to do anything to it and then tap done and that immediately forces the syncing. You can see up here it's syncing, and that will add the new information. And you can see it come in. If you don't do that, eventually, after I think 15 minutes or so, it will fetch that information, but it just isn't instant. It's instant when you go from the iPad to Google, it happens instantly. When you go from Google to the iPad, it takes a bit more time. Now, if I wanted to add a new contact, on the iPad, so go into plus, add a new contact, and put in an email address. And a tap done. And go back over here to my contacts. It happens quite quickly. It's synced, it's synced to the iPad instantly. If I wanted to delete it, again going into Meg to edit, Meg Brown, and delete the contact, and again within a second or two it will be gone from the Google Contacts. Now if you had any existing contacts in your Apple Contacts app, you have to manually enter them into your Google Contacts, or you can export them from the iPad and import them back to your Google Contacts. And if you had a long list of contacts, that might be the way to go. But I've only got a couple here. There's only three here. So it would be quicker for me to go and, and get this contact and add it in. So do a new contact over here. And it's, it's my Amazon email address. And whatever the email was. So it was store news at amazon.com.au. And before I press enter, what I'm going to do on here, edit on the iPad, is delete that contact. 
and now on the computer it's added and that's come back over here so existing contacts add them into your Google contacts delete them from your iPad you can also add contacts from emails as well so in my Linda email I've got an email that someone's forwarded to me if I want to create a contact from one of the email addresses so this one here newsletter at guiding tech I'm going to keep that as a contact and just hold it down tap and hold and I can add that to the contacts and then I can add it as a new contact or add it to an existing contact so I would create a new contact so it puts the email address in that I can just put in the name so it's just a, a bit of a, it's just a newsletter and then I could go and add other instances to that contact and then done so if I now go back to my contacts here it is there it's been added in as a contact and if I go back into here it's all also in my Google contacts it's been synced across immediately so what we've done in this video is look at how you can synchronize your Google contacts to your iPad and this will work for the iPhone and for contacts on uh, any Apple computer if you've been using iCloud for your contacts so if I go into the settings iCloud uh, I've got contacts turned off there because I don't want any contacts syncing to iCloud. Uh, I want my cloud contacts to be Google. So that's all for this video.